guys. My name is Dee Edwards. I am the master coach and president of the Startup Business Factory and the founder of MyCreditMattersNow.com. Through the Startup Business Factory, we work with small business leaders to help you to build a profitable and sustainable business. When you start your business, many times we're frustrated. We have unanswered questions and nowhere to turn. Through the Startup Business Factory, we provide business coaching and consulting training program free resources to help you to avoid as many costly mistakes as possible. Now, today, I want to talk to you about shifting your focus from small business competitors to your large corporations. Many times when we start out in business, we are very concerned about small business owners, small businesses that are in our same community, and we find ourselves marketing or using some of the same tactics to draw in some of their clients or customers. But if we start to look at the way large corporations manage and how they offer a product and service, you will find that you can attract the clients that you truly desire to because you know exactly what your target audience, your market, what they need. Now, first of all, to build a profitable and sustainable business, you want to make sure that you are targeting and marketing to your audience, the people who are supposed to do business with you. In order to help you to identify that, I like to tell my clients to imagine that they are working with one person. And what does that one person look like? Where they work? Uh, what's, what are some of the pain points that they are experiencing? So when you are creating your marketing, coming out with ideas and products, you are addressing that one particular person. And once you start to address that one particular person, you will find that there are other people who look like that one person who need exactly what you have have to offer. Now, when you have a product or an idea, many times we feel like we have a great product that everybody's going to love, everybody's going to need, but really you don't. You have a product or a service or an idea that a particular sector of people may need from you. However, because it's a great idea to you, doesn't mean that it's a great idea to your potential market. So let me say that again. Just because it's a great idea, a great service, or a great product to you doesn't mean that it may be a great product, service, or idea to your potential market. That's why it's important that you test the market. You have to become a service-based entrepreneur where you provide what the consumer wants versus what you want. Provide what the consumer needs versus what you want to give your consumer. So test the market. So many at times we, we brainstorm our ideas. And who does that consist of for you? Is it just you? Is it your family members? Okay, so let's try this differently. If you were to brainstorm with 10 of your trusted entrepreneurs who are in the same market, who are in the different markets, they will help you to come up with different ideas and strategies that will help your main idea. So if you have a vision to open up a store and you start brainstorming with 10 people, they are going to help you to come up with ideas that's going to help your initial vision. However, as a small black business owner, we struggle with that. We struggle with sharing our idea ideas with people because we feel like they are going to take our idea and make it theirs. That's why you have to have trusted individuals in your corner. And I truly believe that what's meant for me is for me. I don't care how many people try to duplicate what I do or my idea or my passion because I've been called to do it my way. So you've been called to do it your way even if you inspire someone else to do the exact same thing that you're doing is never a duplication because you have to add your spin to it. So get back to brainstorming. I want you to brainstorm with up to 10 individuals that will help you to get your creative juices flowing to help you to uncover some of the heartaches, mistakes that you may experience that you haven't thought about when it was just you. Many times when we start out with a product, we have a service, we always just think about everything going well. Well, I'm going to start this product, I'm going to start this service, and everybody's going to buy from me. How many of you all have done that? Been there. Okay? And then when you have the product and service, crickets. Nobody's buying from you. Now, it can be to the right audience. It can be to, the, uh, uh, to your 
potential clients. However, you may not have thought about the whole spectrum of things. And then it caused you to go back to the drawing board and now you're missing out on funds because you're not uh, you're, you're not able to offer this product service idea program within the time frame that you thought. So when you are creating this, when you're in your creative stage and you think that you're done, brainstorm. Take a, take a, a, a couple of days to brainstorm with individuals who have your best interest at heart. And then two, you want to create a focus group. Create a focus group just like entertainers do it. Before the music is heard on the radio, they have a focus group of people that they introduce their music to to see how they feel about it. And then they may have to go back and make tweaks, make changes. Now, this is where we fail. We fail because we don't want to, to make tweaks and changes or to make adjustments because we feel that it would take away from the initial investment or vision or to take away from your thoughts. When you go and ask someone for, for their opinion, or for instance, when, when individuals hire me as a business coach or a consultant, they are paying me to tell them the truth. So whether or not they make the adjustments or to just go back and rethink it, it's totally up to them. But you have to be open enough to hear the adjustments and changes and not just want people in your corner that is going to, woo, yay, she got something great. No, you want to hear the critiques. Just like with one of our businesses, Accurate Tax and Financial services. Uh, we're located in four cities in the great state of Alabama. I love my clients who support what we do, but I also want to hear back from those clients who decided not to come back to us because I want to know what we can do because if they have a heartache, if they have a frustration with our company, I'm sure they're not the only one. So not so as a business owner, you just don't want to hear the good things. You want to hear the, the bad and challenging things as well so that you can become a better company. Now, what I like most about the White House... Okay, we know that we have the president of the United States. He is the brand for the White House. However, he may have an idea, but it has to be voted on before it's approved. Did you know that? So you may have an idea. Okay, but it needs to be voted on before it's approved. Every idea doesn't mean that it needs to be a business. Every idea uh, may not be profitable or sustainable for you. So build your business like the White House. Like the White House. Yes, you are the CEO. Yes, you make the final decisions. However, bring other people aboard that's going to help you. Think about every area of your business. So again, if you're going to build a profitable and sustainable business in the 21st century, I want you to brainstorm with other individuals. I want you to create a focus group. And then also, I want you to allow other people to critique what you have to offer. Well, this is Dee Edwards. I am the master coach of the Startup Business Factory and the founder of MyCreditMattersNow.com. Because of this message, I know that you will think bigger, reach higher, generate continuous profits, and I will see you at the top. Have an amazing day.